Massimo here. I hope you are doing well. And I want to ask you one thing. Do you know the importance of your own personal story? So let me tell you a quick story. Um, I was in this um, moment of the one final way challenge um, some time ago, uh, where I had to tell my story in a way that could enrich others and uh, so that they could um, learn something from what happened to me. And I had to tell this in a certain way. Um, well, basically, uh, I felt a little bit uh, uncomfortable, I'm a little bit awkward, yeah? you know, um, about this because, uh, uh, to be honest, I didn't want to, to, to tell people about uh, the, the, the things, the, uh, the downs of my life, you know. It's always something that uh, you, you try to, to, to know. You try uh, not to show su such things because you want always, especially in in the social media, you want always to be to look like you are you are doing okay, you are doing fine, you are successful, and so on. Unless you are someone who uh, wants to get attention, uh, telling to others how bad things are uh, uh, um, are going with, uh, with you and uh, how life is bad, uh, how bad is life, and so on. And it's not my case. Um, uh, so I was like, ah, I don't know if I can do this, you know, it's something personal and so on. Um, but then um, I saw uh, there were Russell Bronson um, uh, just um, telling us how much does, uh, how much important this is, you know. And, and, and then what he did was that he, he shared his story, what happened to him, how he failed. Uh, how he was at a certain point he was in a moment where where he had to 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 fire a lot of people and his company was really doing bad and so on and really really something that was really touching you know and he he shared his 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 darkest moment his darkest moment and it was really you were there, listening to his story, and telling you, "Oh wow! I thought my that my experience were bad experience were something really bad, but look at what happened to this guy." And so I was like, "Wow!" He he, he shared his story with us, quite a story. And then there was the the moment of um, Stephen Larson, who, who is the other coach of, in the One Planet Away Challenge, and he 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 also he also said your story is important and so on and, and then he started telling his own uh, personal story and you i was listening and then I, I also the other people online we were all listening and we were like what uh, uh, what happened to him his wife especially to his wife wow i i, I was i was listening to the story and was telling, thinking oh my god he was like in a really, really bad, bad situation, you know, he, he had serious, um, great difficulties, and his wife w was doing something to help him, uh, but you have to, 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 to listen to the story, I don't want to spoil it, you, you know, it, it is really something amazing, and then he said what happened, and he has get help to someone, that someone say, give him an answer who wake him up. But anyway, it was really a strong story. And it was very personal. And I was there and then at the moment, li listen what happened. Then his epiphany, like Russell Bronson, Bronson the hip epiphany he had. And then what, what he did, um, Stephen Larson did some decided to do some actions and so on which brought him in, in, in a position where he could then uh, solve that situation so on. it was quite quite personal and touching you know I was like uh, I was like oh uh, he's, he's telling this, this this story to us you know and you know on the internet people know everything and I was like wow unbelievable and then was the moment of um, um, Jim Edwards, who is the copywriter, who is uh, teaching us how, how to do copywriting. 
and he he was he was in this event and then he was telling his story it was all fun you know and laughing and so on until uh, until the 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 the, the the, the, the bad thing happened not not directly to him but to to his son and what happened was something really really hard to confront okay in the middle east war when usa war, was um, was in war with iraq if i remember good and what happened and how what Jim Edward did before, before, weeks before, in a certain area affected what happened to his son without he even knew about it, you know? And, and then how things, things changed in the moment, uh, in the moment when he had his epiphany, when he realized that, oh my God, if I didn't have done this, then, you know, and how things then went on and on, and what happened then, and it was almost, you know, you could you could hear his voice, you know, uh, so uh, he he was almost crying, you know, and it was really touching a personal, you know, something really personal. And if you listen to Jim Edward's story, you will understand why I say it was really touching and personal, you know. And I saw also the public watching on him in the in, the, in that event and so on. And uh, he was like, you know, he couldn't speak even, and he was. You could see when when the camera just made a, um, a, a close a close up on him and he, you could see uh, it was in the dark because he was showing what happened to his son but you could see some 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 something in uh, in his face you know the eyes were really were wet even when the the, the, the light uh, was back because it was, it was showing uh, uh, something, um, uh, something that was, yeah, some pictures of what happened to his uh, son and so on. Uh, you could see his face and you could feel, you could really feel what, what was the emotion that moment. And then I said, you know what? Okay. Um, to the hell all of my concerns. I will do this and I will publish this because. I understood that realized in that moment these three guys share their own personal story and I learned the three lessons and if they refused to share their story I couldn't have learned those lessons. Three important lessons. Every one of them teaching one lesson. One lesson. And so they said, okay, I realized that I had to do this so that other people could listen and maybe learn something from what happened to me and in this way I could also enrich their life uh, with some yeah with, with with the solution that I found out or with uh, you know uh, with all that happened to me and so on which is quite something which anyway uh, anyone has anyone uh, has everyone as his own story, his up or her ups and downs and so on. And then the plan was this: okay, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to record, and I will publish it. But there were two problems. The first problem is the English is not my native language, language, and so I had <coughs> sorry, I had to follow a certain way to say the story so that people could understand better and recognize what the lessons uh, what the lesson were, was there and, and and could learn the most uh, from it okay so that they could use my experience in order to solve their problem if they had would have similar problems you know and the other problem was that <laughs> there were my wife and my daughter 
um, playing in the other room and they were just uh, laughing loudly and so on and it was difficult to, to, to do it so I recorded and then I stopped and cancel it and then I recorded again and then I stop, stop it and then I recorded again but at the end I did it then I watched it and I felt so awkward and I, and I, I, I thought okay I did it look what is look at what I I said what I shot and it felt so awkward. First of all, it was too long, 30 minutes, <laughs> too long. In second, it was really, really, I, something really personal and so on. And I thought, man, if people look, watch this, they will be bored, first of all. And anyway, the ones who are not, will not bored anyway will, will see something really personal about me, myself. And then uh, I decided, uh, I decided, okay, let me try again. And then I, I went to another place and I started the recording again. And finally, I could do the um, the, the record uh, the recording. I recorded uh, my story, my personal story, which is uh, um, which is uh, now um, 15, 17 minutes long, not not 30 minutes. It was. Uh, it, it it is I feel, I think it is better, and I think and, and then I dis I understood when I sh I shot this again that it was a little bit easier to do you know and I watched it again and I felt less awkward and it was the moment that again I realized that um, I could publish that that the stuff because anyway I remember that they did it and I could learn and if I do it if I would have done it someone other could have learned so it could be it could have been uh, of help to someone other so I felt like I cannot be so um, what's the name what's the word so selfish to keep what happened to me and and, and 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 how things evolved and changed and how I saw that what happened and so on so that others can benefit as well so I decided okay I'm going to publish it and I publish it and the name of the story the video is on my youtube channel and the, 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 my story is something about me okay you will find it if you search in, uh, in uh, amongst my videos in my youtube channel um, and um, yeah you're right what's the name the name is l'italiano the italian um and you can recognize it from a heart with the colors of the national our national flag uh red uh, no, green uh, white and red green white red and yes what happened at the end was that i was uh, able to fulfill the task of the one challenge final challenge and I also had this change from feeling sh uh, feeling not um, capable of uh, sharing something so personal with a lot of people at once to uh, overcome this um, this um, false belief I had that I couldn't do it, and then uh, uh, reaching uh, uh, another level, another yeah, the next step about my self growth, you know and so i i accomplished to that and i uh, also transformed um a part of myself in a in a uh in a person more able to do something that was not able to do earlier i mean i can tell stories and so on but that story my story was too personal and this is why i'm so excited about this one final way challenge uh, i'm learning I'm learning and I learned it and learning so many things that are that I am applying to my online business but also to my life um, and uh, which are really really impactful impactful not only um, on me but also on others versus others you know and so what I want to do is to share with you uh, this, this this opportunity to to develop um, 
uh, your skills and so on so that you can uh, with this challenge the one final way challenge you can uh, build your own online business uh, from scratch if you don't have anything to sell or to um, to sell uh, um, and you don't have a product or a, or a service to sell uh, or if you already have one, uh, one one business online business or offline business you can learn how to build your funnel uh, get the skill about building funnels this automatic selling system online or one selling system and um, who will uh, bring your uh, existing business from this level to the next level okay so uh, thank you for um, for your attention uh, I think that uh, we are going to to see us tomorrow uh, hopefully it's not good it is not going to rain and there will be enough light uh, and so um, I hope you're going to start today your adventure with the one final way challenge and click on the link wherever it is down up and so on and see you next one next time okay thank you bye bye ciao ciao